hi my lovelies welcome back to my channel i hope you are all doing amazingly well so in today's video we're going to be talking about my unfiltered opinion on popular perfumes but before i start this video please make sure you are subscribed to my channel kindly give this video a thumbs up and let me know what your scent of the day is my scent of the day is kind intentions by navitas performs and paulina shah i cannot get enough of this perfume right here it is so sweet it smells a little bit earthy so it's not too sweet it's just beautiful it's perfect for this time of the year it's very soft it's elegant it's like all day long all night long kind of perfume you can wear it out with your man you can wear it out to see your friends it is so versatile it is so beautiful it's definitely one that I feel like you can wear all year round. It is perfect for this time of the year as well. It's such a beautiful perfume. So that is Kind Intentions by Navitas Performs and Paulina Shah. Now I am using my trusted fan over here. I'm matching on purpose because I got loads of these from Amazon. I will have it linked for you guys if you are interested. But this has been helping to cool me down. Now you guys voted in my community tab that you wanted to see my unfiltered opinion on hyped and popular fragrances over new fragrance release and over fresh and clean perfumes for the summer so you asked for this and i'm going to give it to you now if you are sensitive if you are easily offended this video might not be for you now i normally give my opinion in every single video i am very open i'm very honest i'm very blatant but today i'm just gonna kick it up a little notch so like i said if, if you are sensitive and you're easily offended by fragrance water and what is being said about it you might want to click off now so this is going to be my course for the day and i'm going to actually start with perfumes that i feel are overhyped like there's too much noise about it it's not that great and it is what it is now i've got my notes over here so i'm going to be glancing down just so i don't miss anything so before i carry on actually guys i wanted to let you know i now post wednesdays and sundays so make sure you are tuned in make sure you are subscribed make sure you turn on your bell so that you don't miss any video now i'm gonna start with these are not necessarily brand new perfumes well a lot of them are but i'm gonna go back to the ones that people are always talking about like i said i'm gonna start with the ones that I just think I'm meh and like not even worth it. So we're gonna kick off with Blanche Bet. Yes, by Liquid Imagineers. Now I smelled Blanche Bet and I thought to myself, honestly, guys, no word of a lie. I went into Javoy and I smelled it and I gagged. I was like, literally, because I just thought, what is this milky nonsense? It was really milky. It was milky. I didn't get any perfume from it. Now, I know a lot of people love that perfume. So, like I said at the beginning of this video, if you are sensitive, I beg, click off. Because I am going to lay it out. I'm not unfiltered. You guys want unfiltered opinion. Now, Blanche Bear is like a coconut tea. Even though coconut is not listed, but nobody, nobody can tell me there's no coconut in that perfume. It's a tuberose lactonic very very milky like baby milk breast milk all kind of milk it was just way too milky for me and i did not think it was worth the price i love the bottle nice bottle very unique very different but if you like milky milky breast milk and um, baby milk cow's milk all the milk if you like that kind of perfume that is super super milky and doesn't have any punch to it then go for it go for it i've heard people say it layers well with other perfumes i don't want to layer my perfume unless i'm trying to create a new scent i don't want to layer my perfume because it's not a good perfume i want to layer my perfume out of choice not out of necessity so for me blanche bet you say no 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 so the next one is <laughs> you guys are gonna kill me and strangle me for this one <laughs> guidance by Amouage. Yep, 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 yep. The hype is real on this one. On TikTok, on Instagram, on YouTube, everybody loves this perfume. And I can't lie, I like the bottle. <laughs> the bottle is really cute, but the perfume in that bottle, 
Do you know what? The beef I have with Guidance here is the price. The beef I have is that price. £320. For what? For what? For perfumed water? Why now? It is lovely, but there's something in it that grinds my nose. There's something in it that just makes me feel like I'm not really feeling this. So let me tell you what it is that's in that I didn't like. It has this osmanthus and jasmine note that mix in the dry down is very disturbing to my nose apart from that that perfume is beautiful but it's still not worth 320 pounds now if you see it on sale i'll say go and buy it but don't blind buy don't blind buy any perfume some blind buy some perfumes are actually um blind buy worthy i will say that but don't blind buy guidance and don't buy it at full price i just don't think it's worth it it's a lovely scent and it's 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 a nice kind of like sweet very feminine floral uplifting really nice perfume it opens up with pear and you get that pear note is beautiful but something happens in the middle somewhere and it just doesn't vibe with me personally now if i see it on sale yeah and it's way cheaper i may just get it i don't know but let's move on so the next one is herba pura first of all i don't like the name eba because it's a nigerian um food that's called eba and anytime someone say ah oh, eba pura i just think of this eba i will have the picture of eba linked over there i don't mind this kind of like cassava but it can be made you can have it with water and sugar or you can have it like um made into like a um sweet potato type texture but a lot more harder i don't know how to explain it but the name of it bugs me now the way people were raving about eba pura <laughs> the way i ran to harrod to go and smell it when i smelled it, i was just like ah is that the perfume let me smell it again actually actually matter of fact put it on my skin when i smelled <laughs> eba pura on my skin i was so disappointed i was like oh my god what kind of boring boring mess is this yes i said it a lot of people have that perfume a lot of people seem to love it i don't i don't know why i can't tell you why but i will say this i have not found a zerjov perfume that works for me personally i am not the biggest fan of the zerjov perfumes i have tried i used to like um lira i do like it but i will never buy it at full price i have two samples of lira but even the samples are sitting there they've been sitting there for years in my collection and i've not actually worn it so that goes to show that if i was to buy a full bottle i probably wouldn't wear it that one is like a lemon cakey kind of scent so bear it in mind that i'm not a fan of zerjov dna um so that might play into me not liking ever pura so eba pura is described as a fruity citrus musky sweet perfume and i agree it's just too basic for what they are charging it has no sauce um orange bergamot lemon fruit musk vanilla and amber even the notes are basic you know even the notes are like the composition is what you see on a lot of perfumes and i'm not saying that you needed to have a lot more notes to make it worth it i just feel like this note composi composition is really common and i would not pay in that price however i like the bottle i like the velvety situation going on but like i said i still wouldn't purchase it because it's not worth the price for me are you guys still here if you're here please <laughs> subscribe to my channel click on the like button if you're feeling my vibe even if you're not feeling my vibe just click the like button no dislikes over here so the next one is quite popular it's been around for a while actually and it is bitter bitch i mean bitter peach i'm so i'm, I'm so sorry about that guys i didn't mean to say that um bitter peach is um a tom ford perfume and i wanted to love this i liked it at first and i had a sample of it for a while again it was one that i never reached for the sample and i just didn't think it was it was it was given peach is a very very um difficult note 
to love it doesn't quite work for everybody and tom ford prices are a slap and a punch in the face they are so expensive for a tiny 50 mil it's like <laughs> Why are you taking the piss though? Why? But anyway, out of all of the private line, I feel like Beta Peach is probably one of my least favorite. I don't hate it, but it gives me cough medicine vibes. It has loads of notes as well. Okay, so Beta Peach as Peach, Blood Orange, Cardamom, Heliotrope, Rum, Davana. Davana is my problem in this perfume. It gives a weird greenness that is not even needed in the perfume. It's got patchouli. So patchouli and Davana and jasmine together, that's very disastrous for my nose anyway. It's got tonka bean, vanilla, cashmere, and blah, blah, blah. It has a lot of notes, but I feel like it's an acquired taste and it's definitely not one for me now we move on to lib by ysl now this perfume made waves back in 2020 even till now people are still talking about it lib is not my kind of perfume i do not like lavender in my perfumes if lavender is in a perfume i don't want to smell it i don't even know i don't even want to know that it is there but with lib all i smell guys is lavender i don't even like i don't find lavender like relaxing like people use um lavender essential oils for massages for i don't even like it the last time my husband booked a massage for me because i get on massage done because ever since i had my children my back has not been the same so he books a regular massage for me so this masseuse um, lady she comes to my house she massages my body and before she does i'm like what essential oils did you bring? If it's lavender, please don't put it on my skin because it makes me gag and I don't like it. So the lavender in Leap is too prominent for my nose. I do not like that perfume one bit. However, I do like the Leap Le Parfum. That one has a bit of honey. It's got a lot of vanilla. So the, the lavender doesn't come out as much unless I overspray. So if you have the Intense Leap or the Leap Le Parfum, don't overspray it. They are quite strong and potent perfumes anyway. They don't need to be oversprayed. But the Lib Original, I do not vibe with it at all. However, I have complimented someone that was wearing it before. But I know that after a while, if they were like in my vicinity, it may start to irritate me. It's that kind of perfume that just has, it just kind of irritates you and you don't know why. So the next so, perfume that I do not like, I can say that now that I do not like it, is Passe Soir by BDK. I could not vibe with the Queen's note in this perfume. This has notes of ginger, mandarin, orange, black pepper, jasmine, orange blossom, cashmere, amberwood, and patchouli. What I get the most is that quince and patchouli and I'm not vibing with it, honestly. I have already decluttered this perfume but I actually don't know anyone in my family that wants to have it. No one seems to really like it. My husband doesn't really like this on me as well and it's just, it's just not working for me. So many people, I think I'm yet to come across someone that doesn't like this. The way I don't like it, like, it's fruity, it is sweet. But when people are like, Pastor Swai is the business, is this, is that, go and test it yourself. Like, do that with every fragrance. If you can actually go and get your nose on it, go and get your nose on it first. Don't just go by what, what, what someone said. Especially if you look at the note breakdown and you're not familiar with the note or you don't know what a note smells like, you may just need to go and test before you buy. Pastor Swai is not blind by safe. I'm not a fan of it. And please, if you go to my website, this perfume is there. It is highly discounted. Kindly buy it off of me because I do not like it. So this is BDK's Passe Soir. <laughs> so my lovelies, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I do hope I did not offend you guys too much. But you asked for it. Like I said, you guys asked me unfiltered opinion on popular perfumes. So let me know down in the comment section below if there are any perfumes on this list that you do not like or if there's any perfume that people have raved about and shouted about that when you got it you just thought this ain't that great comment it down below thank you once again for watching please don't forget to comment like and subscribe and i cannot wait to see you guys in my next video on sunday bye